Kurt without her beaches realty at her island. Um, this is Friday about 10.30 in the morning. And we are experiencing more technical difficulties here. Our stumpy point to Rodanthe ferry system has been shut down uh, due to high winds and um, very shallow waters in that area. So that probably opens up more problems for the Hatteras uh, to Ocracoke and, and all of that. So I'm gonna go down to Hatteras and just see what's going on at that ferry dock. Give you guys a little drive through Buxton and Frisco and such Hatteras Village. So enjoy the ride. All right, we are coming up on to uh, Buxton and you can see the lighthouse over there. I can zoom in. Welcome to Buxton. Let's see if I can uh, keep my car in between the lines here as I do a little Buxton drive. I'm holding the camera with my right hand, which is usually my shifting hand. Uh, my car is a five speed. Doing some serious multitasking right now. This is where you turn to go to the lighthouse. Kind of a gloomy day. The temperature dropped about 15 degrees overnight. It's hot and sunny yesterday and kind of chilly and windy today. on the um, Cape Hatteras Secondary School. This school is in session. You see the extent of the damage down this way is just trees and branches and so forth doesn't look anything like tri-village area and even Avon where you have you know everyone's belongings just out on the road here it's mainly just uh, trees I'm into Frisco now Woods campground on the left. Everything seems to be nice and uh, clutter trash pile free here. Just debris piles. where Isabel cut the new inlet. It's been filled in since. But um, I'm going to stop off at the bathhouse up here and try to get a look at the Frisco Pier for you. Alright, I'm at the Frisco bathhouse. Um, I'm going to give you guys a look at the beach and uh, what's north, northeast, further up the beach is offshore down here. So I haven't seen the ocean yet but I'm guessing it's kind of cleaner and calmer than it is up there, so let's go take a look.
fighter jet. Let's leave it on the pier. Coming up is where Isabel cut through before, and it looks like Irene did try to, to breach here. I mean, this is just a really low-lying spot anyway, so they're adding a little more sand, and you can see that they've piled up a couple of dunes on the side of the road. And we're coming into Hatteras Village. This looks like a point where some washover took place. Coming into Hatteras Village. Moving sand is the name of the game all over this island. So I'm guessing they're yeah, there's some water on the road here. It's the first time I've been down here. All right, coming into the marina area. We have Village Marina there. Hatteras Harbor. All right, let's see how this ferry operation looks today. Shift gears. It's like quite the line. Doesn't seem too hectic. It's the graveyard of the Atlantic Museum. Doesn't look very busy. Porta potty down. This is the only way on and off the island until Stumpy Point and Rodanthe have enough water and the winds lighten up.
Uh, the operation down here seems a lot smoother than that at Stumpy Point. Granted, the Stumpy Point Red Anthe operation was uh, a pop-up project for emergency. These guys do this every day. Just uh, drove down to the Hatter's Ferry, checked out the situation. Everything seems pretty normal, running smoothly. Um, they, you know, that ferry dock runs all day, every day, anyway. So, you know, they've got it under control. It's a well-oiled machine. But um, also, I think the fact that you have to reserve a slot is crucial to the organization that they have down there. So it seems to be going smoothly. I'm not sure about the Ocracoke to Swan Quarter or Cedar Island part of things, but as far as I can tell, the Hatteras Ferry Dock looked pretty good. Um, anyway, stay posted for updates on the Stumpy Point to Rodanthe Ferry. We're gonna let you guys know as soon as we find out more about that. This is Kurt with Outer Beaches Realty. Take care of things.